Back here at Povich Field on Big Train TV as Ben Wanger leads things off and joined by a very special guest in the broadcast booth tonight, pitcher off Team Israel and White Sox drafty Alex Katz. Alex, thank you so much for joining us today in the booth. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. So, you know, r arriving here at the ballpark, you know, it's been, you guys have had a bunch of tune-up games. I mean, what have you just noticed about Povich Field that really stands out to you tonight? I actually played here plenty of times because I went to college at St. John's and Georgetown plays here. So, very familiar with this field and it's always great to be back. Yeah, Wanger fouls one off down the left field line. Georgetown, of course, that's the guy that just came off the mound in Everett Cadley, Georgetown uh, native. So, you know, what has been your favorite thing about the process, I guess, leading up to the Olympics, you know, going through these uh, tune-up games as you as you prep for the bigger stage? I think just getting accustomed to, um, you know, the catchers and, and the infield, especially, um, you know, coming off my minor league season where I'm, you know, playing with different guys. But, you know, the good thing is, um, you know, I've thrown to LeVar and Way and, play with most of these guys in the World Baseball Classic, so it's not too big of an adjustment. Right, and we'll get to the World Baseball Classic in a second. As the new pitcher, Jack Cohn, fires one inside to Ben Wanger, the hitter. So World Baseball Classic, honestly, one of the most special I mean, moments. It really has just taken shape over the years. What has it been like, I guess, playing with this team in that and then the building process going forward to the Olympics? Yeah, I mean, just a great group of guys. Um, you know, day one in the World Baseball Classic and the qualifiers in Brooklyn. Um, I don't know if I knew anybody, but... Um, you know, after after one day of practices, it felt like I've knew, known the guys for years. Um, just a great group of guys. Um, team chemistry is is unlike any other team that I've played on. It's outside ball four here to Wanger. He's aboard. Yeah, well, WC it was really fun watching you guys. You know, really build up and those upsets going forward. Just a fun tournament to be part of. I mean, from your standpoint though, getting the pitch in that, how fun was that? Unreal. I mean, by far one of the best experiences. And, you know, even if I make it to the big leagues and have a 10-year career, um, you know, we had guys like Jason Marquis on the team who, who yeah. did that. And, you know, they, they still say that the World Baseball Classic was one of the one of the highlights of their playing career. So, um, you know, that just goes to show how special of a time that was for us. So taking on the pitcher, Cohn is another big leaguer in Ian Kinsler, but a big leaguer that's in the bullpen or will be soon at least is Josh Side, a guy that really, you know, um, was a big part of that WC run. What's it been like pitching with him? Oh, great, great. Josh uh, brings a lot of experience, and, uh, you know, he's a great guy, and he actually coaches with the Cubs, so it's uh, it's cool to have, um, you know, multiple Cubs connections on our team. All right, bounce towards third, a leaping play by Sean Ewell to second for one, back to first is in time for the double play. So a 5-4-3 turn there on Ian Kinsler, and there's two down. So, Alex, you know, uh, what are you most looking forward to? I know Olympics a little bit bigger than the WBC, but, I mean, what are you most looking forward to as you guys head there soon? Yeah, I mean, I like to tell people that it, that it hasn't hit me yet, right? You know, and, and these games just feel like a regular exhibition game or you know, summer league all star game, that that type of vibe. And you know, I'm I'm kind of happy about that because you know, I don't want it to hit me until we land in Tokyo or until the opening ceremonies. You know, I wanna I wanna I wanna live in the moment and you know, just you know, just take it one one step at a time. So. Um, you know, I'd say the thing I'm looking forward to the most is is that first game against Korea. Um, you know, how you start the game. Obviously, how you start, you know, how you start is not the most important thing. It's how you finish. But, you know, if you, if you um, you know, start off hot, it, it kind of leads to, to good things to come. Right. Ty Kelly, Mets legend, takes a strike there from Jack Cohn. And so playing with around these guys, guys that have been there before, I mean, how special has it to, been to learn from them? And, of course, from Coach Holtz as well, who's been here for a little bit. Yeah, no, always picking the brains of the, those guys. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, I have some pro experience under my belt, so I'm trying to teach the young guys as well, right. in, including the high school and college guys that are, are practicing with us in these exhibition games. So, um, you know, I like, to, I like to learn from those guys and then pass on that info and some of the info that I've learned to, to help the others because – you know, those younger guys are the future of Israel baseball, and obviously uh, these veteran guys and the guys on our team are trying to make a name for Israel baseball. Right, and how just special is it to represent your heritage that skips in there from Cohn to Kelly? How, I mean, how special is that just to represent your heritage? I mean, there, there's nothing like representing something way bigger than yourself. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like we're representing just a country. We're representing like a whole heritage, a yeah. whole, you know, a, whole, a, whole, a larger group of people than just Israel. So here's the 2-2 two two swing and a missed strike three from Ty Kelly. And the inning is over. Once again, Alex Katz, thank you so much for joining us for this half inning. Really appreciate it. And best of luck going forward as you guys get ready for the Olympics. Thanks again, Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Of course. Thank you.